George Bush Intercontinental Airport. Five terminals of floor space, fills, and smudges. It's a dirty job, but part of good customer service means keeping the place clean. It's a big job, but someone's got to do it. So why not a robot? Meet Intellibot IS-800, the three-and-a-half-foot, 650-pound cleaning machine now roaming the Terminal C concourse at Bush. The one of the things we want to do here at Bush Intercontinental Airport is use technology as a force multiplier. And by doing so, we can increase the level of productivity and efficiency in cleaning the airport terminals and facilities. It's not exactly R2-D2 of Star Wars fame, but it's got some spunk. Able to clean roughly 70,000 square feet of floor space each shift, using two 25-gallon water tanks in an environmentally friendly process. It actually scrubs the floor and it sprays a mist of water on the floor and it vacuums that water back up. So that's how you can notice that there's really no water residue on the floor as it comes by and cleans. And Telebot comes with excellent references. It's given us productivity that I've taken a two-person job and turned it into a one-person job. And it's given us incredible consistency on our floors. The robot runs at the same pace, the same time, all the time. The inventor says it's the wave of the future. What's driving the revolution in robotics and in uh, intelligent floor care is artificial intelligence. And as that grows, we'll see more and more capability of equipment like these robots. At $31,500, so far it's dependable and safe. The machine is designed to be 100% safe. It will stop if someone comes close to the machine. It has 20 ultrasonic sensors, somewhat similar to those that are used on the Mars rover. It also has an infrared sensor that has look down capability up to 13 feet. I hate vacuuming. I hate cleaning my toilet. I hate making beds. I hate uh, dusting and laundry. And Telebot doesn't do any of those things yet, but it might only be a matter of time. Reporting for Houston Airports today, I'm Melissa Sesteda.